Welcome to Politically Crowded. Uh, well, we're going to go a little international today, so we actually have three semi-international students. Well, two of them are international for sure, and one of them's from Puerto Rico, so, you know, we're, we're covered the spectrum here. Um, everybody here has been outside the state of Ohio, so we're all worldly in a sense. Um, I'm Tony Hesley, your host, and to the left of me is Andrea Obusu Mensa. Yay! <laughs> she is the Financial Secretary of Student Senate. Uh, without a mic over next to uh, Edza there, because <laughs> the mic broke. You can hear him in the background. Um, Jeremy Hudgens. Did I get it right? Yes. Yay! Uh, public relations with the uh, Enemy Society. Across from him is Rebecca Nieves. She's a student worker with Women's Link. Hello. Next to her is Kevin Bourne. He's the uh, Anime Society member guy who's also former president and vice president. What up, yo? Yeah, okay. Why? And uh, to my right <laughs> is Tamira Nemfukwe. If you misspell her, or if you mispronounce her name, it's a cuss word. Because <laughs> it's funny. Is <laughs> 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 that coordinator? And she humors me with that fake laugh. Okay. Our first topic, obviously, uh, last week was the. Uh, uh, big presidential primaries, and John Kerry won, or at least at this point. They're basically calling him the winner, and they say John Edwards should be his second. Now, then we'll start with Angela because she is from Africa, then from Canada, so basically, uh, is this the first time you've ever been around these type of elections, or? Well, in the United States, yeah. Uh, do they have these type of elections from where you're originally from and from Canada? Or? Yeah, because uh, I come from a democratic society, so yeah, we kind of experience the exact same thing. <laughs> Anything is heated, though? Uh, no, not that much. Okay, would you consider our politicians dirty? Most of them are. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, thank do you. you. Mean, do you mean that in what sense of the word? Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're not talking Bill Clinton dirty. Bill oh. Clinton was my dude. I don't care. <laughs> like, he's the type of guy you can sit down and have a pizza with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I couldn't do that with Bush. I can be like, Yo, Bush, let's go get a pizza. Bill Clinton, you're like, let's go get a pizza. Be like, all right. You know, you have to know them to ask them for pizza. To pizza no, if it was Bill, man. Bill Clinton was into Big Macs and the French fries. That's what I'm saying. He was my dude. I don't care. <laughs> okay, now uh, obviously because Jeremy doesn't have, you can hear him in the background there. Uh, I don't know. I'll speak a little loud so somebody's mic will pick me up. I doubt it. Yeah, I bet. So. Uh, she's leaning over. <laughs> Just okay. Lean as down, as an American, uh, they're saying, "Oh, well, we're going to share." That's awesome. Share a mic. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, as an American, uh, they're saying that. Uh, you know, Bush, uh, his campaign for president, obviously he had nobody to run against in the primary. Right, right. So it was very light. And now people are complaining, hey, you know, you're using pictures of 9-11. You know. And then finally he names John Kerry as his main opponent in last week's, uh, well, what is it called? Just general election, but I forget what they call the ads now. Right. But uh, what is your opinion? Do you think it's it's not it's, it's dirty, but not as dirty as before? It's really more dirty. Yeah. Well, you know, if you're going to play the 9/11 card, I think that's a that's kind of rough, um, especially for people who've been through it. You know, uh, people who lost, you know, people who had lost a loved one in that. I think that I I don't know. I mean, to me, I'd think that it would be like you know pulling a trump card, you know. But you know. Uh, I don't like Republicans anyway. I just, I, I don't. And the only reason why is because I'm disabled and they like to take a lot of disabled rights away. So uh, I, I vote more for Democratic, um, you know. And I, I also didn't like that, you know, yeah, Bush kicked butt in a, with the war, but how many jobs did we lose? So that's another thing that kind of just, you know. Okay. So anybody yeah. else think that the uh, use of 9/11 scenery in his ad campaign uh, is a, in bad taste? I think so, because it just like um, it just opens up the wounds that are starting to heal, and it wasn't it wasn't very tasteful at all. It's just it's despicable. I think it's pretty smart. <laughs> Elaborate. It's pretty smart, you know, because people are going to look back and say he helped us through this hard time because of you know what I mean. No, he, yeah, was, I, he was there for us when the nation went through this rough time. So I think it's pretty smart of him. 
you know? Anyone could use that. Like, other politicians were there to help as well. But that's just distasteful. But that's people are going to look at the president who was in power at that specific that's time. That's true, because if you're looking at another politician, you know, it could be more along lines like, hey, look what Bush made you do. You know, like, this happened in Bush's reign. It's not going to happen in my reign. That's kind of worse, <laughs> if you think about it, you know? Okay. I agree with Tamara. I think it was a smart, I think it's a smart campaign. I don't if know. they used what they he did wrong, why wouldn't they use what he did right? right. Mm -hmm. okay. It's politics. Were you, know? you, were you in America, Rebecca, when uh, the planes hit the towers? Or? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I know Puerto Rico is part of the United States, technically, but uh, what was your personal feelings about it? Was it strong, was it indecisive, you didn't carry the way? Or? About 9-11? Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. You know, people, a lot of people died there. It doesn't matter what country they died for or whatever. It, you know, it's people dying for no reasons. And add you to Mary, you feel the same way? Yeah, because it wasn't just Americans. It was the world. It was every, most of the world was represented in those towers. So it wasn't just America who mourned. I was in Toronto when it happened. And I didn't know a lot about the World Trade Center. And yet, like, I just, I couldn't stop crying. It was really... So I don't know. It was really sad. It was sad, but I I also think that it was a it was a wake up call. It was time for Americans to sit back and reflect. Like, why would someone want to do this? You know what I mean? It was it was yeah. a wake up call. It was a terrible thing. It should have have happened. It shouldn't have taken such a horrible thing for people to reflect to be grateful for what they have. You know what I mean? Yeah. People. So I'm not right. saying it was a good thing. I'm just saying it was a sad yeah, way to have to to have to learn. Okay. Uh, next topic. Um, this is the I think the last one before we get to actual international stuff here. Uh, Howard Stern was pulled from six NBC affiliates. <laughs> Good. Now, Howard Stern says the reason is simply because he's anti-Bush and that the NBC affiliates are conservative and are for Bush, so that's why he pulled him off. Mm -hmm. FTC re refutes that the reason why these affiliates pulled him off was because at the time the conversation was about Paris Hilton's boyfriend's. Uh, Longevity in certain films. So, uh, so do you think it's like politics or do you that kind of longevity? Oh yeah, um, they can't see you on the radio. <laughs> well, well, he, well, well hint, I was going to say. <laughs> 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 okay, so now actually, uh, you have a mic right now. They can't hear you. Either. Yeah, <laughs> want to pass the? She's hugging right. it again. I um, I think the whole thing, like, oh, because of Bush, is a load of crap. Personally, I think. Howard Stern's like an awful person, and I really don't like him at all, to be honest. Did you ever watch his movie? No, I didn't see his movie. His movie was good. I, it, <laughs> I don't care how good his movie yeah, is. It, it doesn't make up for him being a completely well, okay. offensive person. <laughs> Before the, the actual background of his history, his oh, story, yeah. uh, the, the growing, the struggling DJ, you know, gaining rep, uh, reputation. But see, my thing is there's plenty of struggling DJs. You don't have to be completely vulgar to be, a, to be successful. Well, you don't also have to be like everyone else. I think the thing that he wanted to do was separate himself from the rest of the group. And I don't know the whole story surrounding why they pull him out. I just know that he referred to the Republicans as fascist people or something like that. It's, it's something along those lines. It's so I don't know. I don't, I've not really seen a movie or like listened to his radio show. I don't know <laughs> much about him. Has anybody here actually paid attention to his show? Yeah, I've, I've, I've listened to his show. Any good? Well, I mean, I've seen it so much. He just voices the opinion of that, just opinions that people keep to themselves. He just says what people won't. I don't have the guts to say. That's true. You have true. to respect someone for that. He may, it may not be appropriate, but people think it, people do it. He just brings it out in the open, and he's not going to hide it. Right. Sometimes, like I, I, I don't listen to Howard all the time. Um, some of his views are really extreme. Um, you know, uh, some, of, some of what he says, uh, actually something kind of offended me the other day because he was talking about the Passion of Christ and he was going on and on and on. And that kind of offended me. But some of his views, like, like uh, Tamira said here, is, you know, it's just stuff that people won't say on air. They're too scared to say it. And you got to respect him for that. And you got to respect how, how uh, you know, and yes, you know, there are a lot of DJs that are, you know, trying to make it out there but uh, his is special for some reason what we don't know maybe it's just because he has that almost you know on air edge you know that people don't want to see or that people want to see um but uh you know as for him being pulled off for like you know what do you say six officiates six affiliates, six affiliates. um you know th that's kind of extreme I, th you know it, 
it, it's gonna it's gonna get to the point um, where uh, you won't be able to say anything on radio. You know, um, I know here with our radio show, it's pretty tight squeezed, but uh, I understand why. But like you know, in America, come on, you know you can. I mean, what if I if I say like Bush is a complete retard? Are they gonna like send me to jail? Oh no, it's just you know? uh, when people hear your rant now, they're gonna hear bleep 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 bleep. bleep. <laughs> right, <laughs> but no, you know, it, you know, if I say that, I mean, am I gonna go to jail because I said that, or is the FCC gonna ban me? You know, come on, uh, you know, that's kind of extreme. But it, you know, it, it, but uh, you know, hey, you know, I, he's still heard around a lot of other places, so you know. <laughs> Has anybody actually seen his show on E? Yes, yeah. I have seen it. Not at all. Huh? <laughs> I, I only watch it when my wrestlers are on there because it's pretty cool. Because uh, every time I turn it on, no matter no matter who's on it, oh, there's always nudity. Yeah. And they always, you know, of course, obviously E is supposed to be a, a you know, basic cable channel, so it's, it's all blurred it out. You know, little uh, you the know, boxes. the boxes or the blurs and uh, man, and I wish they didn't have those. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Completely different show. Yeah. Okay, now back to the original topic was uh, playing dirty in politics. Now, uh, obviously, the NBC affiliates playing dirty to keep... And us, uh, Howard Stern is, is listened to by a lot of people. So e even if the reasons are anti-Bush, you know, they pulled him because, you know, it would only help carry somebody who they didn't want to see in office. So when we start with Adjua, she says they're real dirty. Now... Uh, do, do you find the politics in America is really dirty beyond the norm that you're used to? Or? To me, it's really clean compared to the dirty politics that go on, like where I'm from. Now, where are you from for the listeners? Uh, I'm from Zambia, South Central Africa. Okay. Uh, what exactly happens there? Uh, Just corruption, pretty much. So much corruption. Government's always stealing from the people. Everyone's living in poverty. You know, it's just dirty, dirty. People don't get into It's a democracy, but people get into power, not because the people want them there, but the money they have buys them the seat and you know what I mean? So to me this is like nothing is really power. compared to how bad it possibly can be. At least Americans do have a say as to who they want in power, who they want to lead them. So don't worry everyone's complaining. Okay, so where exactly are you from? I'm from Ghana. Okay, and where is that in Africa? West Africa, along the coast. Yeah. Okay. And is the party is the politics there the same as a No, I don't, don't think so because like in my country People, the people who vote, like people have a choice as to who votes. Actually, I just want to say this on air. Uh, on <laughs> <laughs> Ghana got it's like Ghana was like one of the first um, countries to get in its independence. So I think we've come a long way. So our politics are not as dirty as it was before. But I think, in a sense, like we have some African countries whereby, like, if you're running against someone and the person who you're running against has a lot of power and a lot of like. Um, he knows a lot of people. He could even pay someone to like kill you or like kidnap you or do stuff like that. But my country is kind of sort of peaceful. All right, that don't know. Go to that South Africa. Don't go to West Africa. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rebecca. Now Puerto Rico, obviously being president of the United States. Now on the state level, do you do you find we're not a state? Well, I know, but on, you still have a state government. No, you, don't you? we no. have a common welfare. A common, it's different. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, get no. your facts right. That's why. That's why there's 50 stars instead of 51. Well, you would think that even though it's a territory <laughs> or such of the United but States, that it would still be run similarly in what fashion? Go ahead and explain to us how it's run here. Okay, we cannot talk clear something. We cannot choose the president of the United States. We can choose a representative for the House from Puerto Rico who has voice but doesn't have vote. That's how we go to our politics in union with the United States. Now, the difference between the politics in my country and here is that in Puerto Rico, when um, voting times come up, everybody knows. You know, the day that you, you're you supposed to vote, everybody knows. There is not even a baby that doesn't know it's the day for voting. And when I say that, I mean it's loud. There's flags everywhere from each party. And there's people around just rooting for their party. Yay! Um, we have three parties. Popular, Independentista, y PNP. I know nobody has any idea what Okay. Is, but I got into yeah. that. That's it. <laughs> um, independentista, they just want the independence from the United States. Popular, they want to keep the common welfare, and PNP, they want to be a state. 
Okay. All righty. Okay. That sounds interesting. Okay, so how did, now, off topic slightly, the last time that Puerto Rico was able to vote to become a state, mm -hmm. were you able to vote or was that before? I was too young. Okay. Well, if you would have voted, then what would you have voted for? Not a state. Okay, so you would look for independence? Um, I wouldn't really vote for independence because Puerto Rico has lost a lot of its industries. It will be very hard for it to be independent. That's from my point of view. It will be very hard. Yes, we have Bacardi. Yes, we have Medalla. We have Corona. We have Coors Light. A lot of beers, but the sugar cane plantations with <laughs> well, the sugar cane plantations, which were the support when Spain to England to the United States transition was taking place, they are gone. They're bye bye. The coffee. It's not enough to maintain. The, we don't have enough in to resume. We don't have enough resources to maintain the country running. I didn't even know you had coffee, but okay. I imagine with beer, you need coffee. You know, wake up in the morning. After that <laughs> <laughs> we have wow. bananas, coffee. We have viandas. We have a whole lot of things down there. We have coconuts. We have a lot of stuff. I love coconuts. Okay, so how are politics in your Dirty. Commonwealth? Dirty, really. But I would have to say they're dirtier. I recall one of the politicians sticking the, the, his tongue at another politician. All <laughs> 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 the middle of the discussion between, you know how you have the discussion, to, you have the two Debates, candidates. Yeah. yeah. Well, in, in the middle of it, one of them stick his tongue and pull his finger down and just. That's cool. Well, that I was watching great. this thing in, on, on TV about China. I think they were throwing punch. It was very yeah, funny. They were, they were that like, is great. The, that was that funny. Is. Well, okay. politics in general is just dirty. It's just a dirty business. You it never is. have clean politics. Yeah, because politics. you never have, you never have it's impossible. A, a safe politician. They've mm -hmm. always, they're always getting money for some, from something They're always illegal. dirty. That's just how it is. Okay, so how old were you when you were in uh, Germany, Kevin? Ooh. I was really young. Um, I don't know. Like, I want to say, like, between the ages of three and five, maybe. Okay, so you wouldn't remember yeah, the politics? I wouldn't remember the politics of Germany, now. Like, uh -huh. asking yeah. Tamara to, like, remember when she was in Australia. Do hey, you remember anything? I was seven to eleven. Uh -huh. Do you remember anything about the politics there? Or? Probably not. It shows they me were, well, they were, uh, Australia is under British rule. They don't have a president. They have a prime minister. So Britain still rules Australia. It's, it's like still, Canada. Yeah, it's still like that. Uh, okay. Who is our prime minister of? I'm not too sure who it is at this point. Okay. And we'll move on to the next topic. <coughs> and this is where we then sort of commercial if I care. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to go around and <laughs> we're going to talk about basically a little bit about yourselves, uh, where you come from, and uh, and then we'll after that we'll get into, or maybe we should just mess them together, uh, your likes and dislikes, the differences between your native state or country, depending on who you are here. Uh, you know, and um, basically uh, trying to kill each other. So go ahead. <laughs> well, my name is Ajoa Obosu Mensa, <laughs> and I'm from Ghana, West Boo. Africa. But I've also lived. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. ooh. <laughs> I've also lived in Norway, Canada, and now I'm living in the United States. Um, Norway and Canada, or Norway as uh, Norway. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Canada. Yeah, Norway is another country. Norway is another country. Norway. Norway. Yeah. If it's like a city in Canada or no, the actual no. country. No, it's a place in Europe. It's a place Tony. in Europe. Okay. Yeah. It's so beside Denmark country. and Switzerland, okay. around that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Norway. Yeah. Yeah. Little geography lessons for you. Right. What else right. do you need to know? Yeah, I'm not worldly. I'm sorry. I've been to Florida, and that's the wang of America. So. <laughs> uh, okay, so go ahead. Um, basically, the likes and dislikes between you know your move as you went along and got to finally here in America. Oh, um, I like the fact that America and Canada are very integrated because in my country you see like a bunch of Ghanaians, mostly Ghanaians. You see the odd people, like different people there, but not as much. And I also, I, the thing I dislike is guns. Like I don't know, my I don't know if a lot of people have a lot of guns in my country, but we don't hear a lot. Of, we don't have a lot of crimes as you guys do in the United States. Wow, that's sad. We're third world evil. Guns rule. Because they just uh, legalized uh, concealed weapons in Ohio, so mm -hmm. you can carry a gun under your jacket. Mm -hmm. Really? It's the gun shop is license. Happened. You need a concealed weapons license. Mm -hmm. so. Last month. Wait, so don't you have to have like a license? Yeah, oh yeah, you, you go in, weapons There's license. a gun shop across you from my house. 
It used to be next to a library. The library moved. <laughs> it's now it's next to a fire department. <laughs> but <laughs> you basically could go and there's a BP cross street. You basically can go get the gun shop, get the license, get a gun, go walk across the street, street rob, rob, rob the BP. <laughs> exactly, rob the BP, <laughs> and then you're gone. You know, <laughs> stop maybe for lunch next door at the cafeteria. You, lunch. Oh, okay. Lovely. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave about dude, three or four people listening an like, idea. I, I, dude, if I went there, it's too easy to like describe me. It's a guy with a bent hand. That's why you keep your hand in the glove. Nobody notices. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just giving away tips. Here's how to rob a BP. Okay. Um, so, Adjua, uh, any general dislikes uh, during your travels? Uh, how did you actually travel? You airplane, boat, boat. Uh, <laughs> she <Okay>. swam. <laughs> Way to rob from coconut trees. Well, usually when I go, <laughs> when I go from Ghana to Norway, I just take the plane. I'll stop at Amsterdam for a day or two, then I move on to Norway. All but the free sex and chocolate. Oh. <laughs> go ahead. When I'm traveling within Norway, I usually use boat and stuff. But everywhere else, I just. <laughs> I just fly. But when I'm going to Canada, I, I just drive it because it's five hours from here. Toronto, anyway. It's five hours from here, so. Okay. Oh, casinos. Aren't there casinos in Toronto? Yeah. Wow, you know, like, all the bad stuff. You know, like, all the bad stuff about every single oh, so country. No, Ontario. Oh, 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 so it's and, no, no, that's yeah. Amsterdam. Chocolate, chocolate. It's chocolate. Except for when you go to man. Quebec. I mean, come on. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, go. That's cool. Okay, now, you've been around America. Yes, so. I have, actually. Uh, it, here's a little bit of my background. I'm Jeremy Hudgens. I know. <laughs> um, but uh, I was actually born uh, in Virginia, Virginia Beach, wow. and then uh, we moved to uh, Kansas uh, for six years. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, trust me, it's all flat. Uh, Did your parents find happen to find a little boy in a spaceship? Uh, okay, no, no. no. Going, Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> uh, then we moved to Ohio for eleven years, Ooh. and then my dad got transferred. We moved to Louisiana, Ooh. and then we came back. Ooh. Um, because uh, he transferred again. Ooh. What did your dad do? Was he in the military? No, no. Well, he was in the military when when um, when I was born. So that's why I was born in Virginia Beach. The reason why he got transferred is because he worked for a trucking company, and he just get, he got bumped up from being a team leader to a ma manager of a shop. Oh. So. <laughs> oh, so, oh, I was late. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, and whenever we moved. Um, it wasn't that bad. It was it was kind of like a f new start. Uh, um, you were taking trucks, I imagine, not necessarily airplanes or anything. Right. No. It, it was just it was just driving either in a car or in a in a in a in a you know a U-Haul or no whatever. Boats? No <laughs> boats. I would like to take my boat across America. That'd be sweet. You mean uh, like on the land? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rowing across the highway. Have fun. Use a little fan to help a little. Push. Actually, I saw a boat driving on 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 the highway once. Yeah. It's awesome. So, so, so then, um, you know, I, I never had a problem. Uh, I mean, um, now when I came from Louisiana back up here, I, it was a little tougher because I had a lot of friends down south. Uh, so, um, you know, I still keep in touch with some of them. Um, not as much anymore is because, uh, you know, some of them just have weird views now. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we it's not that we're apart or anything, it's just there's something I don't agree with my buddy and I'm kind of shunning him. Uh, for, okay, so general likes and dislikes between the the far Midwest, Ohio and Louisiana. Um Different. well, I I can tell you one thing. Like in Ohio here when we're in books in in 7th grade, they're doing them in ninth grade. Where so, at? In Louisiana. Jeez, I thought so, they were because I had lower. to take world geography over. Now, of course, I aced it. Because I had done it once before. I am so, saddened by the fact that the South is actually smarter than... Okay, no, 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 they're not. People they're, from they're, the South. No, they're, 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 they're really... Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay, up here, we like to work, then party. All they want to do is party. Party, 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 party. That's all they want to do. And it's no different. It took you 10 minutes to get a milkshake. It took me 10 minutes to get a milkshake in Louisiana once. Milkshake? Well, they have to freeze it first or something? Or, I mean, no, it was at Mickey D's, man. Well, took me 10 minutes are you because they're slow. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll say it. You need that for to two move years. to Louisiana. No, thank you. No. It, it, I mean, it's a great place to live. I love Louisiana. Very cool. Very cool. But I'm just they just don't know up. how, they just yeah. don't want to work. They just want to party. Might I interject for a sec? Is there a drastic difference between each state in the United States? Um. Does yes, because differ? up here we say pop. Apart Down. from the lingo. Like yeah, well, oh, apart from oh, the lifestyle. Yeah. Just general yeah. lifestyle. Oh, yeah. lifestyle. It's very oh, different. most definitely. Oh, it's a Louisiana party state, you know. Mm -hmm. Especially, like, I had, I lived in California before I lived yeah. here. 
And the difference between California here is just, I don't know, I can't, I can't really describe it. It's just very different. Yeah. You know, go just to New York, go to Florida, then come back here, oh, yeah. go to yeah, go Miami. You've been to Florida. Yeah. I have. Yeah. Pensacola? <laughs> okay, so Rebecca, difference between here and Puerto Rico. Oh, did you actually go anywhere else between here and Puerto Rico? Or? No, just Puerto Rico, United States, and Canada. Well, I mean Niagara Falls. And Toronto, actually. <laughs> yeah. Specifically, the difference between Puerto Rico and Ohio. I mean, things you like, just like, you know. Well, people are different. That's well, for sure. True. We all don't have accents, but then again, to well, you, no, I not about accents, not about accents, accents attitudes. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. my, <laughs> this is funny. I tell almost everyone. I'm just gonna say it. Um, in my country, when we greet something, I've been losing three years here. You kind of lose it. I know. I know. We go by the person we know, right? And we kiss them. And if there's somebody. And we just kiss them, and we, you know, we talk, chit chat, and whatever. He and in school, we used to have I call it the kissing section because you know you're in school, you get to see each other a lot. So you're going down the hallway, this little stretch hallway, and you go like little step, kiss, little step, kiss, little step, kiss, all the way down to your next classroom. Cool. Okay. And it was awesome. so adorable. Yeah. We're not talking about making out, <laughs> no, it's just no, no, like no. it's like kiss on the, the cheek. cheek. It's like, like the French do, except only halfway. Because the French do both sides. Ah, we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, so other than that, anything you, pref you like about Ohio than the fact that you don't get to kiss everybody? You can kiss me if you want. <laughs> I'm sure Jeremy won't mind. I'm sure. Well, you see, when I got here on the first week, I had a really bad experience because I'm used to kissing, and I went to kiss a girl. And everybody thought I was a gay. <laughs> oh, a lesbian, okay. Yes. Wish I was there. I mean, not, <laughs> not I, for the... Once again, not that kind of show. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go ahead. So you you mistaken. Uh, somebody thought you were going for uh, a lesbian side. experience there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But what I like about the USA, I don't know, it would have to be how many different countries you can see in this place because in my country and it's so funny because here you have whites and you have black no offense I, no offense I'm and offended. you have the indonesians and then you have the Chinese. this other group the puerto ricans and it's just so segregated yeah. we are it's segregated. a diverse but like they're all like in yeah. little groups yeah. no no one feels it's comfortable breaking out of their group because it's a comfort level those barriers for the listeners uh, most people Adjua don't Tamira are african not Blacks because they were born outside of America. But we are black in complexion. Well, obviously. Now, Rebecca, you, what do you consider yourself? Puerto Rican, Hispanic, uh, all I am Puerto Rican. Okay. I am a white Puerto Rican for okay. those who cannot see me. Okay, so Jeremy is a white guy. He's a Caucasian. <laughs> I come from the land of Caucasia. I'm, I'm going to die. I'm Slovak. Okay, I'm actually European, so yay for me. I'm but Israeli. Last you time you're a Jew. You you're can't tell now. You're a Jew. I'm right? going to be the Aryan one European and Jews, say I'm you know. American. Yeah, okay. okay. They, they are European okay. Jews. Oh, Hence, Hitler could do his thing. Hey! No offense, I'm just saying. Uncle Hitler. Are, uncle. <laughs> 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 he wasn't my <laughs> uncle, then. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Kevin, <laughs> see, and your heart name is hard. I couldn't remember. Okay. Now, uh, you've been around America just like Jeremy has. Uh, yeah. any I've been all over the place. You, you've been to California, obviously. What's the, you, you said California is how different from Louisiana it's, from Ohio? It's or? just different. The people are just so, I don't know, they're just, they just have kind of a different attitude. Um, like uh, in California, people are just generally more... Friendly? Not so much friendly, but more accepting of different things. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like here, like, 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 like yeah, like gay marriages. Okay. You know, it's just the way California. It's like really opening. It, was, it just seems a lot more open in California than it was here. You got a lot of plastic surgery, like yeah. <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah. Um, but those are those are different parts. I didn't live in that. Part. How oh. could you move to Ohio after being there? I would be like, wow. Well, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually from I was actually from Ohio. Huh. Okay. Um, my uh, dad joined the military and. You know, so I've been to Germany, been uh, lived in Louisiana for a few months, uh, been to California, and then he got out, so we came back here. So is that oh. how you know Jeremy from living in Louisiana? No, I know Jeremy. No, actually, that, yeah, that, we that, get that questions was just like a, that. that was just a really weird coincidence. We get questions. You're from <laughs> like, Africa. Oh, do you know her? She's from Ghana. <laughs> Dude, Ghana is there. I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> Secretly, <laughs> Jeremy and Kevin don't know it, but they're brothers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> they hate each other so much, it would be so funny. Okay. You know what I noticed, though? If I could just, like, 
I went down south. I've been down south like several times. Okay. <laughs> We're talking down here. south, <laughs> in, meaning <laughs> south. Oh, Tamir, that's not Tamir. Okay, I've been to Kentucky. I mean, like um, Tennessee okay. and stuff. But what I noticed is that the people are more friendly and laid back. It's not like yeah. go, 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 go. Yeah, that, As for here, it's just that's like what, that's what kind of like got me because I was from, you know, Louisiana, and, or, or I was from Ohio, and in go, moving to Louisiana, it's totally different. The food's different. You know, the people's different. Yes, mm -hmm. they, are, they are very awesome people to hang out with because they're so laid back, and you got and that Southern friendship. hospitality. Yeah. But uh, when I interject, didn't the uh, French over in Louisiana wanted to break off at one point and become their own like country? A little bit, yeah. yeah I believe it was the same thing in Canada. Too. Yeah, they did. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, but and, and and they don't have counties down there. They have parishes. Cool. Uh, uh, parishes are the same thing as counties, but it's just like the it's like the French word for okay. county. Um, so, but anyway, so they, uh, it, counties, they are, they, they just don't call them counties. Right, right. It's, it's pretty much Ooh, a county. So, smart. so, so, I mean, in, in someone from Ohio who's, you know, like I said, you know, you sit there and you, you know, you work, you do your hard day's work and then party. Well, all they want to do down there since they are so laid back, it's just party. So it, it was kind of rough, uh, for the first six months, just trying to get used to everything. Now, now the food in the south, and it may be stereotypically, uh, it's spicy and greasy. Oh no, it, no, and you're not. No, it's not stereotypical. They like their spices. And grease. And grease. Oh, they love so all that. So that would make crap. it stereotypical. After spending man. time, well, you know, after spending time in Louisiana and open Dollar, or actually any southern sit, uh, state, and then coming to America, do you find that your food tastes like crap? I, I mean, no. It, well, you know, it, when you, I tell you what, it does something to your stomach. The spices or oh, the lack yeah. of when you when you go down okay when you come from Ohio go down there and start eating the stuff. <laughs> let's just say it doesn't agree with you for about two three weeks. Oh god. Then you come back, you come back from that to that, and then your stomach again will not agree with you in two to three weeks Why because your stomach your your stomach is getting your stomach. Oh, I don't know how to say it because my mom had told me how it goes, but it, it, it's getting Being used strong. to what it was again. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, it, it's very, very different. What are the effects? Like, what do you do when your you stomach... You cough a lot. Yeah, you cough. The really That's all... the other side. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> not, not just that, but yeah. <laughs> okay, I like that term, but we're not going to use it anymore. So, <laughs> uh, obviously, we'll move on then. Um, Save the best for last. <laughs> I'm still here, so obviously I'm not the last. Um, <laughs> oh! All right. Uh, a couple of months ago, actually sometime last year, a uh, senator, I don't remember who, I imagine from yeah, the you South. skipped her. Oh, she doesn't You count. skipped Tamara. Oh, do I you want to go? I skipped She's awesome. You know what? Just, why even have me here? Okay, what's just the, what's go. What's the point? Well, she, you were cracking and everybody else figured you were dead. <laughs> Wait a minute. Actually, I do want to know, how did you get here? Did you take a boat with like 400 other people all crammed in one corner? <laughs> oh! oh! You know, nice one. She actually came on an old 52 Ford, and they put, like, balloons on the bottom of it, and she floated over to America. So I thought well, she more started. advanced than that. We made wings. Oh, well, <laughs> hydrofoil. Yay. Okay. No, actually, well, go, go ahead. Tell us um, what you like between your warring country and here. My what? You, you said your country is constantly warring. You're you know, corrupt. No, I was given a point in time. Did I say that? You, you said, said they were corrupt. corrupt. I never said there was a war. It's corrupt. We're the peaceful nation. Maybe, it's the, maybe I'm thinking the way you two act towards each other, uh, Ajwa and Tamara, that there must be a war between your two native countries. Yeah, just West Africans. So. Oh, please. <laughs> Zambians. Oh, I'm the worst honestly, kind of people. Your mom sits you down at a young age and tells you to stay away from West African Because men. we rock. AKA because they're hot. and Nigerians. No, they're hot. You know they're hot. That's why you all chase after a man. <laughs> Okay, oh. so, <laughs> do you want to discuss the likes or dislikes or should I just move on? Well, you don't even want to know where I'm from. You're from Zambia. You we don't even want to know where I've lived, but if I've lived somewhere else. <laughs> you know, I'm assuming you, you I lived stopped. in Australia for four years. Talk? Okay, go yeah. ahead. I'll stop. I've got a lot of history that I can, you know what I mean? Go Irrelevant history? Go ahead. I was born in Zambia, <laughs> and I lived in Australia for four <laughs> years, then I went back home. <laughs> you know, Andrew, I know she did it to you, but... <laughs> Go ahead. And then I came to the U.S. of A. And, um, As opposed to U.S. of B, which is exactly. different. Exactly. 
And what was that likes and dislikes? Yeah, you, what you like versus the other, you know, your differences. I like the opportunities, and I don't, I don't like, um, you know, I, I'm not going to start anything. Let's just say I like everything. Okay, she doesn't like the guys here. I see how it is. Hey, I'm dating an American guy. Ooh, you're dating. I can't tell. He looks like he's like 12. He's 28. Ooh. Holy crap. He looks like a 12-year-old. He does, doesn't he? Yeah, I know. So she, kids she likes him looking young, just being older. Okay. American jeans, like Levi? Yeah, he, he's got Levi's. Great <laughs> jeans. Is he born in America? or? Well, he's half Haitian. I don't know. I, can't, I don't know. I think he was, yeah, he was born in Brooklyn. New York? No. no. Alabama? <laughs> <laughs> really? I've never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing like I, I'm stupid or something. Okay. Anyways, back to where I was going. Uh, Senator Guy, old fart, said, hey, you know, all the international students are terrorists. <laughs> or at least should be treated like them. <laughs> now, <laughs> obviously. I, I can believe that, <laughs> now, obviously, Edgewood has hacking heat right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, Edgewood Tamira, I can uh, I can believe it because obviously they've committed 20 or 30 suicide bombings, though they have never died. I don't, go figure that one. I'm just kidding. Uh, they have never done that, but both of them kind of messed up. Edgewood <laughs> well, flirts with me all the time. I, I've okay. noticed that, Tony. Maybe she no. likes you. you like I, I'm pretty sure she does. Though. I cannot flirt. I have no flirting genes. Nothing. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be a nun. I'm so talking about flirting, not your pants. <laughs> <laughs> you said jeans. Didn't you say flirting jeans? We're playing Whoa. word games today. Okay, so Adjua, now if some old guy come up to you saying, "Hey, he's a, a senator for the United States or a, a congressman or whatever," and says, "You have to be treated like a terrorist because you're from outside the United States," what are you going to say to this guy? Do you, do you think it's a logical argument, or do you feel that he's just jumping the gun here? I think he's jumping the gun because, uh, okay, I know where the United States stands right now because of what has happened in the past, well, since George Bush came into power, or since he was put into power. I don't he know. He came into power. It's Yeah, money. something like that. So um, I feel that it would be very unfair because I wouldn't, like, most, some countries in the world don't like um, people from USA. And I wouldn't agree with those countries if they see, like, someone from USA and just, like, target them because they just don't like their country because we are individuals. If, like, Amen. someone goes, if an American goes and, God forbid, rape someone in, like, Nigeria, whatever, I don't expect, <laughs> I don't expect all Nigerians to, like, look at Americans as rapists. It's just that individual. Okay. So, yeah, it will be just messed up. Now, Rebecca, if, if that same senator came to uh, you, let's say you were in Puerto Rico, and he says, you're not coming to America because I believe you're going to blow up uh, a small community college in the city of Lorain, Ohio. They told me that already. <laughs> when I came here, they told me that in a government class. They said that they see me on the future committing suicide bombing. Oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Um, I'm not a killer. I you certainly don't, love, don't look, yeah, make love, no, not war. Um, oh. Kevin is so like, yeah. Oh, thanks, everyone. I'll just stay over here. <laughs> okay. What I mean is that I will think, try not to say it, you're stupid. I will try very hard not to say it because somebody that has such a narrow mind as to put a sticker on every people just because one person like Tamara, nope, Atua, Atua. Atua You almost said, insulted someone. Yeah. <laughs> Me, oh. thanks. Like Atua said, it's stupid and it's narrow-minded and it should not be done because we are all individuals, so. Okay. Now, your, your country is corrupt, so maybe this guy's going <laughs> to... Dude! There's no country that's not corrupt. They just some of them are more so. it than okay. others. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's say because uh, this old senator comes to your country says you can't come to America because. So in other words, same question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your your people are corrupt, not necessarily terrorists, and he doesn't want you to influence America. What, Africans what do you don't even have food. How are they going <laughs> to? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, I'm controversial, so I'm just going to have to take the other side just because that's how I am not you know what I mean or you just have to face facts that people are ignorant that's life so you know what I mean you can't change someone's mind if someone thinks I'm a terrorist but first of all you should ask well how many black terrorists how many Africans would die to kill other people we love ourselves too much but that's besides <laughs> the point we're not gonna do that you know what I mean but it's under 
I'm not saying it's right, but it's understandable when something traumatic happens to you, you associate, you can't help but generalize in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if a whole bunch of black people came and beat up your family and did all this <laughs> crap to you, subconsciously you're always going to have a fear of black people. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. It's a Anyone? Hard Come on. You see? So I can't say it's ignorant, like they said, it's ignorant to think that way, but I can't blame them for thinking that way considering 9-11, considering what's happened with Iraq and all these other things. So you can't blame them for thinking that way, but it doesn't make it right. Okay. Now this one's for uh, Jeremy and Kevin here. Uh, and this is sort of a little bit different, but uh, you being white guys. <laughs> I like being you know, called I'm Caucasian. The most, I'm, I'm amongst the most discriminated group in, in the country. That's where I'm going with oh, this. A white male between eight, ages of 18 and 30. Yeah. Uh, a white quish, Christian male between eight, ages of 18 and 30. Do yeah. you feel that because you are the, the stereotypical white guy, perhaps, that uh, because the, the country wants to see more integrated, that you're being pushed aside because you are the mainstream? Um, to some extent, yes. Um, like, you can even see if you watch TV, I was watching a my mother and I were discussing this actually. There's this car commercial on, and it's this little wife and this husband, white guy, between ages 18 and 30. <laughs> and um, they made him out to be like this complete, like, idiot, like, you know, completely uneducated, stupid guy. It was this car commercial. She was like, oh, look, all this fancy stuff to the TV. And he's like, hey, all you need to know is that there's an engine in there, you know? Oh, the Hemi. Oh, yeah. the Hemi. Yeah. And yeah. he told his kid the Hemi. And that really kind of offended me because that's kind of suggesting that all white males between the ages of 18 and 30 know nothing more than, you know, what kind of engine is in their car? I don't care about no, what kind. I don't of see engine. how that. I don't know. I I, I see what you're saying. I that just male, just saying that. Okay, yeah. I have that much power in my car. That's how guys I are. This fast. Well, yeah, I, we like power. It's like I don't care as long as my yeah. engine, <laughs> as long as it's <laughs> stick. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, I see stuff like this. I see that, you know that kind of thing all the time. A lot of times, you know, you always have this, you know, like. Um, I used to work at a, a store, and you know the biggest topic of conversation was all these women talking about how, how awful their husbands were be between ages of 18 and 30. What store was this? Value right, City. That's why. Um, you know, talking about just complaining and complaining about their husbands, talking about how horrible people they are, and it to me it kind of gives like you know all males, you know especially white males, this image that you know we're just real, you know kind of jerks. Yeah, and that does kind of offend me. Because uh, every example you've given is just about the white male. Like, does anything else, um, I don't know, just the flip side of what you've been seeing? Do you see, like, black men being portrayed as, like, heroes or whatever? Like, Well, not really. I haven't seen Yeah, I, you know, it's true. You don't really see that much yeah. either. Actually, but I have an opinion on that, which is what I've been noticing, is that black men have been portrayed as bombs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's no Definitely. fair. Mm -hmm. Right. That they're the n yeah they're they're yeah. Uh, crud, I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay then. Um, I, I do see what, I that I see where your point with that is too. Um, you know that's also it does, and that's horrible. Hollywood. You know how many movies do you see where you know the action hero? Guy well, you, well, you know, well, you know what the is, thing is. is the black. How many how many times does the black guy die first? The black guy always dies first. He does. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Well, another thing that really, uh, another thing kind of long as, as we're talking about this in Hollywood that kind of bothers me is, you, you know, you see mostly, obviously, the, you know, big hero being the white guy. Sometimes it's the black guy. But do you, Super chubby. But do you never see, like, the main hero being, you know, Hispanic, being Asian, you know, being... <laughs> oh, no, wait, wait, Jackie oh, yeah. Chan! Native American. Jackie Chan's Jet a hero. Lee. But you don't see it as often. I've never seen, like, um, a hero, a uh, Native American. Like, I don't yeah, know you Yeah, you, you don't see it. Okay. Now, we, we only have a couple minutes left here, so I'm going to get to the main question here. Just you, you, um, we'll go around, yell out a name. If, if you know somebody who should be from wherever you're from, not necessarily an American, who should be president, then state that person's name. So, I mean, if you think you should, should be president, even if you're not born in America, go for it. Oh. But if, if you think Arnold Schwarzenegger should be president, go for it, you know? <laughs> name somebody you think should be president. So go ahead, Edgewa. My father. <laughs> What's oh, your father's gosh. name? <laughs> now he's an English professor here, isn't he? Sociology professor. Ah, sociology. Okay, so pass the token um, on to Batman. <laughs> Rebecca. Oh, he wants Bruce Wayne, by the way, not really Batman himself. Yeah, yeah, Bruce Wayne's evil, but that's a whole nother. Right. Doña Felisa Rincón de Gautier. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> she named five. You said I think one. I know her. <laughs> <laughs> Is that some type of leader in Puerto Rico? Or? She was. The first woman. Oh, it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Big surprise. She was the first woman to be the San Juan governor. 
Oh, okay. She did a lot of business with the United States, and she had a big role in politics. Okay, Kevin. Um, I don't know. I have to go with. Uh, I'd be a prequel cool president. I'd have to go with bringing Gandhi back to life and having him as our president, because <laughs> okay. Gandhi was cool. Okay. Uh, now, real qu quickly, Tamara. Your name or Ray Torres? <laughs> Go ahead, Tamara. I'd have to say Puff Daddy, P Diddy, whatever is going by now. Okay. Puffy. I would have said Hillary Clinton. Just to be different, but I guess I'm not realistic. Okay. <laughs> Uh, thank you for listening to the program. Um, hopefully you didn't uh, cry or anything because uh, these people are brutal. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> We're over.